about another thing that you can harvest during the winter and that is basically trees in general but we're going to talk right now specifically about spruce. So in the springtime the new growth or spruce tips is what people mostly harvest. However, you can also harvest them during the winter if you run out of the ones that you have um, saved for during the winter. Um, they can be steeped to make tea. They're full of vitamin C and while the ones that you harvest during the winter may not have as much as they would in the springtime, they have still worked for me in the past. A lot of people will use the spruce tips to make jelly. Another thing that uh, the tips can be used for is is um, as a liniment. Basically, you soak a cloth in tea and then wrap that around your sore muscles. One thing you want to be careful of when using um, either the tips or the spruce um, the spruce pitch or resin is um, it, you want to be careful when using it the first time. Uh, it, use it in moderation because it can cause, specifically the pitch itself or resin, it can be, it can cause irritation or rashes for those who have sensitive skin. And if you're pregnant, do not use spruce for medicinal purposes. So here we have some spruce, spruce pitch, and oh, there I broke off a little bit. You can chew it until it gets to a gummy state, but it can get stuck in your teeth, specifically your molars. Um, but it can help kill any bacteria in your mouth, so that's why. It, this is actually what they used to use before um, the natives here in Alaska. They used to use this as gum and other parts, other natives, where spruce grew. But it makes an excellent lozenge. Or if you have a sore throat, you can chew it, um, which I haven't tried. But now that I'm chewing it right now, it's helping my sore throat that I sort of have. So, um, yeah. I love it. I love the taste of it. Some people might not like the taste of it, which is perfectly fine. Everybody has their own tastes. But uh, excellent for coughs. If you make a tea out of it, you can also make um, make a balm out of it. But you can only use one. Uh, it'll ruin the pan if you make a balm out of it. So make sure that you may uh, you dedicate one pan if you're going to use spruce pitch for it. Another thing that you can harvest off of trees in the middle of winter, it's not as tasty as if you're harvesting in the springtime, is the cambion or the inner bark. Uh, most inner barks can be eaten. There's only one and I'll, um, I'll put in like a subtitle which one you can't have because of um, it's just not edible. Uh, the tastiest ones happen to be all of the coniferous trees, so pines, tamarack larch, um, spruce, lodgepole pine. All of the inner barks are pretty safe to eat. The tastiest one, from what I understand, I actually haven't tried it myself, the tastiest one is the um, tamarack or larch. And uh, I believe that the decorative one that I have um, is also useful. Let's go check that out and see sh to show you what My it looks like. Tamarack or larch. They uh, it has needles during the spring and summer, and it is supposed to be very tasty. The inner barks or inner bark or cambium is supposed to have a lot of good carbohydrates that are also prebiotic so it feeds the good bacteria inside of your gut um, and so this is supposed to be the tastiest one I can I'll put up a picture of what the leaves or needles I should say of the wild one that grows up 
here in Alaska. I'll put that uh, picture up so you can see what that looks like. But mine has all of these little pine cone buds. Those are supposed to be edible too. Haven't tried it. And I don't feel like trying it right now. Anyway, so something that, like I said, um, and most of the trees, uh, the deciduous trees, other than the tamarack larch, uh, are a little bit more bitter, uh, and so it's not as tasty. The best time to actually harvest those is in the springtime, but you can do it uh, the rest of the year. It's just really, really bitter. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please like it and subscribe as well as ring that bell so that you can get notifications when the next video comes out. Thank you so much for watching again. Have a wonderful day and feel better naturally the Alaskan way.